A couple of weeks ago I told you that Black Magic is very likely to join the Elmount Alliance and in the meantime I got some additional info I will share in today's video but before that please take two seconds time to subscribe to the channel hit the notification button to not miss any of my upcoming rumors. Two weeks ago I was the very first to share an exclusive rumor that Black Magic will join the Elmount Alliance and two weeks ago I also told you that there would be a full frame Elmount camera coming sometimes in late summer or autumn by Black Magic and in the meantime another source shared some additional info about Black Magic's plan and I'm going to share the details in this video. That source told me that the upcoming pocket cameras will be L mount and therefore be much smaller than current versions. They will still house the large rear touchscreen but be thinner and boxier with mounting points like that found on the Sony FX3 and FX30. The sensor will still be the Super 35 6K sensor from Simosis, but there will be also new full frame bodies. So that's the first info he shared, basically all currently available pocket camera will be slowly faded out in favor of an Elmont version which will be much more compact, I still have the same kind of massive rear screen but be more uh, boxing size and also have those cage mounting points that you see on the Sony cameras, also red cameras, and I think this makes a lot of sense for Black for Blackmagic to do this. Uh, the second info he shared was a bit more detailed. The new 6K pocket cameras will be smaller than the G2, but larger than a Sony FX3, similar to Sony body in terms of visual designs, but all black. It will not have IBIS, but an improved version of the gyro stabilization, and it will shoot 6K up to 75 frames per second and 4K up to 140 frames per second, OLED screen and CF Express Type B support, and it will come soon, probably end of summer. So here he shared a bit more of details about the new pocket cameras and they, he also gave me a third info which is kind of more uh, interesting from a marketing point of view. He said that apparently since the Sony FX3 and FX30 launch both Blackmagic and Panasonic have seen a sharp downturn in sales and both are looking to expand the share of their prosumer cinema camera. This makes a lot of sense, we know Sony is having a huge success with those kind of cameras so it's kind of natural that Blackmagic, Panasonic and others will try to uh, adapt and answer to them directly and um, I thank the sources for sharing those kind of info. Uh, those are new sources from the Blackmagic Elmont world but I think the sources are likely to be right and the info I'm getting is really spot on. Uh, anyway, we will know it soon, probably in September, October, we we will have the first Blackmagic L-mount cameras and uh, um, it's exciting to see some competition compared with uh, Sony and I think it's good if that the L-mount alliance is growing it's the only chance to have a success against the uh, Sony but also against Nikon and Canon to stay together stick together and be very innovative uh, I'm thinking in the long term this could be a winning strategy uh, this is it for today folks, please subscribe to the channel if you like to receive more of those kind of very first exclusive rumors and I see you soon for my next video.